very good time to bring down the decibel of the inner noise, to gradually learn to know each other, to be happy with our, with our inner being, not to always flee externally. It's the nature of modern societies to make everyone an extrovert trying to always go out, always go out. Yes, sometimes you have to go out, but also to learn how to live within. And that can be done by force, and to, so this occasion should be a kind of uh, favorable, not uh, a completely negative period for us to learn some silence. We live in too, too much of a cacophonic world. It decreases the cacophony. I'm not saying that I said no television, no radio, no music, and so on. No, but di diminish that. Be some hours with yourself, and that will, I think, help all of us. Help all of us. Try to keep your mind preoccupied, which my mind needs to be preoccupied, except for saints, or uh, or the Buddhists talk about emptiness. To have your mind empty, that's a very difficult thing. We we need to think. We are thinking beings. Try to think of something which is positive and which is the same thing you like, and gradually try to to bridle to control the mind in this way. Uh, is this a subject in which one cannot give advice on television to everybody? Because it's really individual more in the, uh, than is it should be tailor-made for each individual. Because individual souls are very, very different. And I do not want to give advice. Everybody take aspirin at seven o'clock in the morning because some doctor, all doctors would do. Each, patient, a person needs his or her own medicine.